Hello guys, um, here's our number four exercise in identifying losses and feelings. I'll just share my screen. Go. Okay. S scenario discussion exercise number four with Ellen. So this is a scenario. Ellen found out a year ago that her husband and her were unable to have children. Ellen says to a friend, it was bad enough when we found out I could never have kids, but I didn't know it would hurt so much to see all my friends and theirs. I'm sick of going to their kids' birthdays and their family dinners. It's like I'm watching all the fun and wishing. The friend responds, now don't forget all the fun you've had while we've been stuck at home with nappies. What about all those holidays and the swimming pool? Couldn't afford those luxuries if you had a tribe of kids to feed. Okay. So what do we think the likely impact of this response is and why? Well, Ellen's going to feel that she's not been heard and understood. The person replying to Ellen has completely missed the impact of what not having children means to Ellen. The response imagines that having a pool and some holidays in some way makes up for their inability to have children of their own. Ellen's losses, or the loss of children, the loss of motherhood, the loss of a dream, that perfect image she probably grew up thinking that her family was going to be, this perfect family. The loss of feeling like a normal or whole woman and the loss of joy in what you'd get normally from other parents and their children, that natural joy that we have when we, we see kids playing and whatnot. Do you think of any other losses for Alan? Let me know. Give me an email. Scenario responses. What feelings do you think are possibly present? Which one seems to be the most clearly expressed at the moment? Well, there's feelings of regret, sadness, bitter, depressing, brokenhearted, resentful, jealous, miserable, wretched. I think the most clearly expressed feelings are brokenhearted, miserable, and resentful. So a response to Ellen's statement could be something like, it's unbearable not being able to fit in with other families. What response would you have come up with for Ellen? What response could you say to her that captures what you think she's feeling to demonstrate that you understand her? So some responses to Ellen's statement based upon her losses. It's painful to have the dream of having a perfect family taken from you. Or life would be so wonderful if you could participate at parties with your own kids. See, sometimes instead of taking the negative stance, we can look at the positive, you know, like the mother who says, I wish my 25 year old son was not on drugs. And you could come from the positive angle and say something like, yes, you'd really dreamed and hoped for much more for him. You expected him to be in a better place at this stage. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a son? who wasn't on drugs and wasn't causing you so much angst, something like that. Or it's unbearable to know that you will never be a mother. Okay. Now, again, some people might say, you can't say that to her. That's just going to make her feel worse. But remember, guys, empathy connects. Sympathy. Sympathy is what separates people. You see, Ellen knows that life is unbearable for her because she's never going to be a mother, because she can't have kids of her own. Life is unbearable. So naming that loss will have Ellen responding like, it is, life really is unbearable like this, okay? Now, responses based on Ellen's feelings, it sounds as though you're resentful. It could be just something short and sweet like that. Or it sounds like kids' parties are a torture for you. So I'm understanding what she's telling me. Or it's depressing to feel like a spectator in life. Okay? So what 
responses did you come up with? What did you think were the major losses? What did you think were the major feelings? And write up some responses that will incorporate some of that stuff. Remember, there's a hundred different responses, hundred. All I want to convey to Alan is I'm listening and I'm striving to understand what this is like for you. And if I miss, she's going to correct me. If the intensity is not there, she's going to correct me. But I'm going to try and put myself in her shoes as far as understanding what this might be like for her. Okay? So don't be afraid. Send me your responses and I'll give you some feedback. Thanks, guys. I'll stop sharing now. Until next time, God bless.